One of the key aspects of this story of transatlantic style is the work that the American manufacturers did in Italy to both lend an air of glamour to their everyday lines and also to bring new imagination to their own stylists. There's two very different examples here. One is the Hudson Italia. While built by Carrozzeria Turi, it was designed by an American, Frank Spring, who worked for the Hudson Company. The Hudson Italia is the triumph of looks over function. The mechanicals are based on the very humble Hudson Jet, not the powerful Hudson Hornet. The design, however, clearly shows the influence of the jet age with the fake jet exhaust taillights, the air intakes, very aggressive over the fenders, also a number of very interesting ergonomic advances, quite exclusive to a car like this, and could only be executed by the designers and builders in Italy. The Hudson Italia is a fascinating car and a sad one because ultimately fewer than 30 were made. It was a commercial flop, unfortunately, but it really pointed the way to a level of collaboration between America and Italy that would be really seen quite fruitfully in the next decade. Another very interesting collaboration between America and Italy in manufacturing can be seen in the Nash Healey. In 1951, the Nash company partnered with Donald Healey, the great British sports car designer and builder, to create a sports car based on Nash mechanicals. The car was very successful in terms of its performance, but everyone agreed that it wasn't much to look at and really wasn't the attraction getter for the Nash showrooms that the company really wanted. So they turned to Pininfarina to restyle the car and Pininfarina gave it this incredibly attractive, very aggressive, yet very sleek look, almost Leonine. And so many of the design features on this car, the inset headlights, became design features on the production Nash sedans. They were so popular. The car was very successful in competition, running at Le Mans, and also became a Hollywood star. A Nash Healey Roadster was featured in the movie Sabrina and became a star overnight. The collaboration between Nash and Pininfarina on the Nash Healey was so successful that Nash went to Pininfarina to redesign their line of family sedans. And they, for the first time, advertised them as being designed in Italy. They had it in their brochure so that people knew that they didn't have to be a Hollywood movie star or a race car driver to own a custom bodied car. You could have Italian style by walking into your Nash dealer and buying a sedan off the floor. It was unprecedented.